Hello guys, just a short video to show you how to program the route into your FMC and the Zebra mod X Plane 11 and how to understand how it works. Alright, the good news is if you go to the AV tab and go to routes and just enter your ICAO codes, Hanover, Munich, and it will basically give you your route. Let me just open this chart that I created. <clears throat> so, as you can imagine, this information is not all information that needs to be entered, okay? Um, and neither does it um, show in a good way how to understand how the route works. So let me just do some theory in advance. Um, it's not gonna be too long. All right, a complete route, I'm just gonna read out what I wrote down here. A complete route consists of several waypoints, all right? And these are grouped into segments, different segments of the route. Departure segment, an airway segment, or several airway segments, <coughs> an arrival segment, an approach segment, a missed approach segment, and so on. Each segment starts and ends with a specific waypoint, all right? Um, colored in gray and each segment may contain several ray points in between so if you're flying on an airway for a long time um, you may pass a lot of waypoints in between all right um, note that the ending waypoint of one segment is always the starting waypoint of the next so those segments overlap they are linked to each other now the good news is <coughs> excuse me you only need to enter um, the segments and the waypoints that connect, that link, that tie the segments together, all right? Those waypoints um, will be entered for you automatically. So if you have programmed your route, um, you will have a lot more waypoints that you have put into the computer, okay? Because they are um, just added automatically by choosing this segment, all right? So if I translate uh, the AVTAP route into this chart, it will get me this. We have two airway segments and uh, it will only give us the point at which we enter our first airway segment, the point at which we transition from one airway to the next and the point at which we exit our last airway segment. Okay, so as you can see there are some gaps because, of course, what we need is this. Um, we start off from the runway, obviously, and we need to fill the gap from the, ru from the runway um, to um, the intersection to enter the first airway segment of a route. So, from runway to airway. There's a gap and we need to fill it. That's called the SID, the departure sec uh, segment, the standard arrival, the uh, standard instrument departure. All right, let's get practical. So, um, I already entered the ICAO codes here on the route page. Um, if I go to next, there's nothing in it yet. Let's go, since we want to fill this gap, let's go to the departure arrival page. I'm going to go to departure and select the runway. Um, normally, of course, you would consider wind and so on. I'm just going to go for runway 09 left and um, being the runway with an approximate heading of 90, deg 90 degrees, okay? Just add a zero. Zero, nine, add a zero, 90 degrees. All right. Um, see that it now filtered the available sits, okay? And now comes the fun part. Um, we're gonna look for a sit to fill this gap that is named after this waypoint at which we will enter our first airway segment, all right? So, as you can see, there is none, but if you go to the next page, Vera, Vera, okay, that's the only sit named after um, the first given waypoint, and we're gonna pick this. All right, let's go back to the route page and see what happened. We entered the sit and the waypoint, because that's the waypoint where the sit ends. All right. Okay, um, please note that the segments, the segments are always entered on the left side and the connecting waypoints are always entered on the right side. So, as the AVTAP gave us all this information, we will just go ahead and enter this as well. 
So um, that's the point where we'll enter our first, our first um, airway, and that's going to be P605. Um, we will leave this airway at Takut. And transition to the next airway, which is going to be L603. And we're going to exit this airway segment at Pakanu. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So, sit, waypoint, airway, waypoint, airway, waypoint. All right. So, we entered the route until here. Um, now it gets a bit complicated because, as you can see, the departure segment brings us from the runway to our enter point of our first airway segment, but the star does not bring us from the exit point of our last airway segment to the runway. It brings us to the beginning of the approach. Okay, so we need a star and an approach. So I'll go back to the departure arrival page, go to arrival, and now I'm gonna select the approach first. If you start out, you might wanna look for an ILS approach. That's the easiest thing that you can do to start off. So I'm just gonna go for ILS 08 left. So ILS tells us that it is an ILS approach and it already contains the runway number. 08 left means that if you just add a zero, this runway has an approximate heading of 80 degrees. 080, 80 degrees. Okay, okay. So again, um, we can only see now the available stars. So we need to fill the gap from here to here, okay? And as we um, were looking for a sit named after this enter point here, now comes the fun part, we're gonna look for a star that is named after the exit point, Akanu, okay? So there is only one Akan and we're just gonna pick it. All right, now let's go back to the route page and see what we just entered. We entered the sit, bringing us from the runway to um, the enter point of our first airway segment. We entered the airway segment and the point at which we transition from this airway to this airway. We entered the point at which we exit the airway segment, our last airway segment, and that's where our star begins. And the star is named after this waypoint, the sit after this waypoint. The star brings us to our initial approach fix, which was entered automatically. Um, let me just go down here. That's our complete route. The star begins here, where we exit the airway segment and brings us to our initial approach fix. All right, um, that's where our approach begins. And this brings us to the runway. And in case we didn't land, can't, couldn't land, we would um, fly the missed approach, which brings, which brings us back to the initial approach fix. All right, let's have a look at this again. See, it brings us back here. And if we translate this to the FMC, note how all the segments are on the left side and all the connecting waypoints are on the right side. Green and blue is the information that was given by the AVTAP, by the route planner of the AVTAP. Red is what we needed to figure out and gray is what was put in automatically. All right, just go to activate and execute. And now you can go to the LAX page and step through your route to check it. You have to go to plan mode first to do so. Let's do so. Step through the route and there is no vector and no discontinuity. Looks pretty perfect. And note how the missed approach brings us back to the initial approach fix. Okay. All right, so of course normally um, you you would wait until you enter your approach, but I just of course wanted to show you how to input a complete route. And if you look outside, we're not gonna take off today anyway. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye.